How to remove small warts using one simple ingredient. Fibroids are benign growths on the skin that according to the definition are actually benign tumors of the connective tissue. On the skin they look like small soft nodules, skin growths ranging from a few millimeters to a centimeter or so. They are usually skin color, but can also be brightly pigmented. The changes are not malignant, but throughout life they grow and become more noticeable, therefore they present an aesthetic problem. They usually appear during the mid-30s, and in places where skin is rubbed together, for example the neck, armpits, groin, under the breasts, stomach and eyelids, but they can also appear in other places on the skin. In fact, almost every person has at least one fibroma on the skin, so it isn't rare. They can pose problems as they appear in areas where skin rubs and they can easily get inflamed, bleed, grow and cause pain. The reason for their appearance isn't known, but genetics and obesity are mentioned as possible causes. The good thing is that you can remove them without bleed and scarring, using only one ingredient and that is apple acid. Apple acid is thought to be one of the most effective home remedies. It can be used to treat various health conditions, including the removal of fibromas. Note: Apple acid should never be used to remove fibromas around the eyes or on the eyelids. This method works for most people. Here's how. Carefully wash the place around the fibroma with water and mild soap. The first time soak the fibroma in water for about 15 minutes or use a cotton ball, then dry the area. Soak a cotton swab with apple acid and drain the excess liquid. Place the cotton directly on the fibroma and tape it one using a band-aid or a bandage. Leave for 15 minutes then rinse with water. Repeat this three times a day for several days, up to one week. First the fibroma should darken in color, and then begin to form a crust and finally dry out. Depending on the size of the fibroma, or how deep it is in the skin, it can leave a mark, so make sure that you apple calendula or aloe vera gel to the spot. If the fibroma isn't deep in the skin, then it won't leave any scarring if the procedure is done correctly.